G'day guys and welcome back to Total War Attila. This is part 19 of our legendary Eastern Roman Empire campaign. Now in part 18 we finally got rid of the Gepids and uh, who else did we get rid of? Uh, Katali died through attrition and we got rid of the Magars with a stupid fleet we brought up really quick. Okay, now Ilya are there. We probably should get rid of them at some stage too before they get too big. Hopefully the Huns will do it, or someone else. Where are the Huns? Down here. Oh, the Huns are friendly with them. No, not really. Doesn't matter. Um, so, that general's come back now. He's gonna replenish. I just need to spend all these guys again, because I moved after the autosave, like usual, when I shouldn't have. So he's coming back to replenish. Um, now, before we get through the rest of our armies, we're just gonna go through our provinces. Only because if we've got some big battles, it's always better to end on the battles than end on this political shit and stuff. So we'll go through this quickly. Now, sh why is Squalor bad? It's actually really bad. Why is it like that? Okay, we're having a bad winter. That's fair enough. So that will fix itself in a little bit. We've got pretty good growth. Um, but we need plus seven to be able to build some buildings. Uh, Brithianica is our next richest region. Now, they have plenty of food. They've actually got... They've got 70 food. How's Squalor? We've got plus two. Growth's not too bad, either. Okay, we've got four, we can build that. So, we'll build another fountain over there, which will give us more... F no. Hell, we still haven't got this. I've been trying to get this for, I reckon, the last 10 episodes. Why has it taken so long? 10 might be an exaggeration. Anyway, so we can upgrade to Governor's Estates, which give, uh, it's gonna use 30 food for four public order, and a bit of extra tax bonus, or we upgrade this, which is gonna use 50 food, and it gives us more squalor. We're gonna go with this. Um, then we'll have food left over to be able to upgrade the other fountain. So that's gonna use 30. If we do this as well, it's only going to use 10. It gives us a bit more money, more sanitation. It's always good to have extra sanitation. Just in case you have bad winters and shit, it just stops the chance of an outbreak. Okay, Cappadocia is next. Oh, hang on. No, Macedonia is next. Now, they have a building slot. Um, food is pretty shit poor in this region, so we're going to have to build a... Ah, oh, shit. I was going to build a farm in here, but we really should be building, if we keep a fountain. And then in here we can build a food emporium. Yeah, that's probably a better idea, because, uh... Yeah, food emporium is going to give us more food than that, so when attrition sets in, a, a climate change sets in, it's better off to have this, I think. Yeah, 90. Alright, so... This is going to be a fountain. Uh, we might as well build it. I don't think it's going to cost anything to start with. I'll cost that 10 food. That's fine. So, a bit more money, some more sanitation, and a bit of public order. Now, we've got to keep an eye on public order too, because I did raise my taxes. Which is going to get rid of the immigrants. Um, it's only minus one here. I think that's as low as it's going to go for that region. Over in the islands. What are we doing? That's a spy. Got plenty of food and minus five public order. So look, we can upgrade. We can afford to upgrade them both, to be honest. And then when the fishing jetties come around, we can upgrade the fishing jetties and trade jetties, etc. They got a bit of growth. It's going to take a while before anything happens there, though. I'll just check. We don't have. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, I've always got to check the seasonal conditions and provincial effects down there. And now we have minus public order here. We've only got 25 food, but we've got this, and we should have got one sanitation. Okay, that's going to give us an extra 40 food. Um, but it's going to put us minus into an extra two squalor. 
but the 40 food we could then spend here to increase our sanitation. So we'll do that. That's going to give us public water. Oh, one more public water, but... So you use 10 of that food, so that's going to go down to 15. It's going to give us enough sanitation to build this, which means we're going to get an extra 40 food, which means we're going to go back up to... Uh, what's 55? Which means we can probably build this. Just gonna use 30 food, but that'll fix our public order. If we can, well, we can probably we could build this, but we get more public order if we build this. Okay, so that should work out. It might be a little bit unbalanced for a couple of turns, but it will work out. We'll probably have a shortage of food. Um, Okay, so immigration is low, religious differences is pretty low. How's our religion going? It's still okay. So we'll go to Asia. Now, public order is not too good here either. But we have plenty of food once again. So we've got plenty of sanitation. So we might... We've got 70 food. That'll use 30 and 4 public order. So that'll fix that. Uh, military... Oh, I've got a military, yep. Religious, yep. Okay. If we upgrade the governor, it'll probably help there a little bit too. Um, but that's going to use 30 food. We'll upgrade this as well. Just for a bit more public order as well. Then we're going to use 10. Okay, and we'll need the sanitation to upgrade the fishing jetties and stuff. Cappadocia, where are we at with this? We're building that, which is still going to use a lot of our food. I will build in a farm as well. Squalor should be able to handle it all. Are we going to have enough food? Probably. That's going to... Oh, we're building that too, so we won't build anything else. Over to Dardania. Um, now we just built... What did we build that, did we? We're upgrading that as well. Sanitation is fine. Uh, we could do what? Public order is okay, but there's lots of militaries running around. I kind of want to upgrade this because you get a better garrison as well. 30 food though, can we handle that? That's going to use 10. I think we're going to be cutting it close. We need growth pretty bad here to be honest. Uh, we'll go with this one I think. We'll get bonus tax rate. Should be able to handle it on food. Yep, that's fine. Over here, now we lost Nabiscus again, unfortunately. Uh, how's the garrison here? It's okay. They might get hit as well. I mean, we've got our army here, but I reckon they're going to hit us again. You never know. Um, so we won't spend any money there, and I was going to raise this, but uh, public order isn't too bad, is it? What's our worst region? Cappadocia. I'll still just set it to abandon. I think they'll capture it before it abandons. So, if it goes, it goes. We'll be able to fix public order. There's not that many regions. Okay. So that's it for that. Um, we've got events. What's the event? Can't even see it. Faction destroyed, maybe? Yep. Gepards. I've already seen that. Let's go through our armies now. They're just garrisoning uh, just there. They're going to push back and probably take Nabiscus. And then we'll work out what we're doing then. You're meant to be recruiting archers. But you're also just going to work as a garrison general for now. I don't think we need any... Oh, we'll need some more Ballastari for this guy, won't we? No? You don't even have Ballastari, so... Get some of them. And I think that other general needs two more. Yep, so he needs two new units. Um, you need two... Do what? You need to get some onigas and some cav. So, two onigas, please. Is that all? You, may as well get comfy, um, then. you know what, just get three and you can give one to him. Okay. Ready for orders. This is my cav army, so which we need to swap to the other general. But that's one more turn and that's done. Actually, what we might do is... Actually, oh, screw it. He can just stay there for now. 
I've got too many of generals. Uh, see the last general? Yeah. You're in force march, you can't do anything. And you're there. Now, we've got way too many generals, but it's alright. You guys are still in office. Balance of power is okay. Greco Roman paganism is still on the rise, that's good. Uh, we can actually get one more army. We can afford it. How much money are we getting through this now? We get 17,000 per turn just from interest. Uh, look, we, we can afford it, so let's get another army. It'll help our expansion quicker. We've got ridiculous amounts of money. Can we get a good general? You again. Didn't I recruit you? Or... Oh, no, I didn't, because your loyalty sucks. So this guy's a sc scholar. Uh, he's pretty young, though, so I'm tempted to get him. I wouldn't mind seeing what happens if I kill him, if we get another good general. I don't want to risk his buddy shit though. Okay, we can't reinstate another legacy, so we'd have to recruit another one. Get you, you, good. You can just start recruiting other units. What do we say? Twelve of these, then four. No, it was eight, wasn't it? it was, so two, two onagers is fourteen. Yeah, it was eight. Two on is ten. Or was it ten? Soldiering. Or it's a good life. Who cares? We'll just max out. We'll probably have to shuffle them around. This guy's gonna need some more of those units, etc. But we should have Ready for orders. So one, two, three. There's sort of four armies on the go here. I'm gonna combine um, basically this army and the cav. Oh maybe that's what we should do. We might change these armies up a bit and put a cav army because he's got a shitload of bows so this guy doesn't need any archers if we just give him some more numerati he doesn't need cav we can give him maybe another oniga we can piss that off goodbye oh, we'll sort that out maybe we'll have four onigas and just numerati and then the cav can always come in as reinforcements problem is if they get isolated they're in, they're in trouble but We'll just keep them really close together, I guess. That could be fun. Anyway, that's it for our movement. That's it for our uh, provinces. Uh, so let's do an end turn and see how we go. Diplomacy will be alright. Some skills. You can just have that and that. Um, same, that and that sort of thing. And integrity good look at all the hind like idiots wouldn't you encamp your forces wouldn't mind getting rid of those allens as well the huns aren't they even doing anything are they they're just standing around waiting for rome It's a bit of a shame. I was hoping they'd go up and destroy the Franks, etc. But maybe I can pay them to do that. I know they're at war with the Caledonians or something, but they might have resolved that. Swabians, I'd like to get rid of as well. Just the hordes. They just just chasing them around the map is really annoying. I don't know what the Geats are doing. They're having to think. Alright, uh, this is going to be interesting. What are the assassins going to do? Oh, they're coming to attack. Only problem... Oh, we're going to probably have to try... we we'll have to fly this. The only problem is... Uh, someone else has an army standing in here. I think it's the Marken... Or whoever they are. They have a full... A nearly full stack army. So... We'll fight it though, and just see how we go. We've got our cav. Um, how many units of cav? They've they've probably got five units of cav. They're reinforcements, so I'm not too worried about them. Okay, they got only three units of bow cav. All right. So we've got minus nine morale, which is a bit of an issue. 
let's fight it and see how we go. Only territory, so they can go back into that and replenish. Ah, oh, fuck with the forest. This is gonna be shit. And I didn't look to where their reinforcements are going to be probably coming from either. I'm not sure if it's going to be in front or behind sort of thing. I'd like to try and fight out in the open a bit. So we're going to use our Onigas. We should be able to draw them into combat. I've got a shitload of archers. Which is kind of good and kind of bad. Spearmen. Now we're going to put the archers and those spearmen together. So hopefully they crash into the spearmen and then the archers can deal with it. Um, you guys there, you guys here with the general, and where's my reinforcements as well? All right, they're coming from this flank, so they're gonna be nice and close. We'll probably end up trying to fight in here in the open. Looks like they're all gonna have to come and charge me, I think. I'm gonna put these guys here. Hopefully, they'll charge in. My archers can then get them. Protector Domesti, form up there. Where are their reinforcements? They're not coming from behind, that's always good. So we'll get our units over here, quick as we can. Okay, Onigas can fire at will. Put them on quick reload, you guys push over. I don't know where their units are. Hoping my archers can get rid of their cav. They're high armor, so we've got to switch to heavy shot before I forget. Oh, that's their reinforcements. Looks like they're retreating. Don't be dicks and retreat. Now I know I could do the corner thing again, but it's all trees. I don't really want to do it in the trees. They're not at the bottom of a hill either. It's stupid. And I like being out in the open, so we're going to just fight out in the open and hope it goes our way, sort of thing. Got some more Onigas coming. Um, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? What are we going to do? Alright, so we'll put you over here with these guys. You over there. Why are these so screwed up? General with my general. Yeah, you there. These mercenary only goes. Why have we still got them? They'd be costing me a fortune. Alright. Group my cab up. Uh, we're going to put them somewhere safe for a little while. So preferably over here. Put all the only goes together. Just there. Put one flaming shot. And they can just all shoot whoever. Um, okay. Try and keep these guys in a sort of tight formation. I'm just going to put it on fast forward while everyone gets in position. General there. Their general there. The other general, sorry. Who are you? Protector Domesti. We're going to put them in a tight formation here. I want their cav to crash into those spearmen so we can shoot them with my archers, but I don't know if that's going to work. I've also got these archers. Put them over here like so. You guys do that. They're only going to move in. Alright. Don't know how well this is going to work, to be honest. I'll try. Okay, so you guys in attacking Testudo. You in normal Testudo. You guys in Testudo as well. And you guys in there. Alright. That's very weak. They're going to crash straight through that. Uh, so heavy shot though. Uh, what can we do about that? Not much. We'll let them come and attack. Unfortunately, their Onigas are going to be within range, but I'm hoping they'll 
commit all their cav fairly quickly and then my cav can go and get the onigas. There's a lot of those cataphracts on that side. Hoping these guys are good targets. Where's the Onigas range? It is to... Uh, where? It's just here. So they're in it now. Which is good. They can just fire at whoever to start with. Actually, we wouldn't mind trying to target some of their... Cav. What are you? Can you target their... Those cataphracts to start with? Speed it up again, just so they get a bit closer. I don't think they can see my cav. I think they're nice or hidden. Which is good. Oh, maybe not. No, it still says they're hidden. Crossbowmen? Come on. I'll shoot them. Get them for definitely. Barrage. Okay, we should better destroy them if you get a good shot. Gonna get a good shot, are you? Nope. Our troops are being ambushed. So put him in skirmish mode, pull him back. This didn't work either, doesn't look like. So right, everyone's in test dude. Spearmen can flank a bit. Archers can definitely flank and they can just fire at will. Now I don't think they've seen oh they have seen my cav because they're shooting them. Alright, we'll run away. What are the only guys shooting at? There's a general right there, aim for him. To take out our general. Defend him. How's he taking so many losses? Archers, come on. Shoot them. They're right there. Heavy shot. Should smash them. Cavs running away and hiding. We're going to go get their onigas. Balistari, push around this flank. And shoot. Enemy units have been rallied. Actually, all Balistari. Around there. Archers aren't even doing that well. There's 61 of them, and there's, what, six squads of archers shooting at them. Oh no, it's not only good. Shoot for the general then. He's low armor. Should be able to smash him. Cav, uh, uh, Cav are fine. They're pushing around. Alright, we got a fair bit of damage into the general. Spearmen push out. They're going to start charging into these guys though. You guys all push out. Just try and get them. Well, Starry, what are you doing? Right, we need three units of cav over here. Two units go after the Onigas. Good, we got the general. Good job, Onigas. You guys just get them in here. Uh, turn around. Engage them. Alright, can you please shoot these guys? Just... These guys are just on a go slow, looks like. Not interested, really. Yes. Alright, three units over here, quick. Take you off this fight, we'll shoot. Just get over here. How are we going here? Taking a lot of losses. We're gonna hit their flank though. Archers to shoot them. No, come on, this should be good. No, they're just yet. gonna die as well. Alright, Cav, get in. Why are they slowed down again? Alright, my only gives a shooting too far ahead now. Balistari, shoot them. How'd you go for kills? Not good. Pretty rubbish. Archers, them. These guys are all sort of in trouble. What am I Cav doing? Come on! Alright, we've got their Onigas though. This unit of Cav just got involved here. Okay, those two, where are these units? He's there. And those two are there. Smash into them. You keep shooting them. Encircle these. Alright, we've got this. 
We've got it. Kill them archers. I think we took m many losses. We took a bit of damage, but not many losses, to be honest. But we just need to try and kill who we can with our cav. So we should probably start hunting some things down. There's some Armenian spears there to get. Uh, Persian nobles. We'll just make sure we get them in case it's a general's unit. And he's still alive. I haven't heard the second general die. Archers, please stop firing. That's enough. Done enough damage. Okay, we're going to chase those guys. You guys can chase them. Over here, please. You guys over there. Okay, they're getting the spearmen. They're getting the spearmen. Seven left of that general's unit. Right, the Cav are getting their Savannah. Oh, they got off the map, did they? No, they're over there. Oh no, they're dead. So chase those bowmen down. You guys just shoot them. Okay. Ooh, my general's unit's in battle. Ooh. He's pulling back. Shit. Good luck, these guys. Get back. Don't want to lose them. Alright, the Cav, how are they going? Seven, so go after those. Ten, alright, over here. These guys are all going to break. Everyone get those, please. Alright, there's one of those Persian nobles left, so they should be dead. Ten of them. Come over here and cut all these guys off. Okay. Hurlers, just smash into them. You guys encircle them. Good. I don't think we took too many losses. We took a few casualties, as to be expected. But not too bad. You guys can throw your javelins if it helps you kill some of them. Yep, they're going down pretty quick. They're going to get off the map though. So I come over here, deal with all this. Okay, there's 19. How many left? 23. All right, we'll put it on fast forward though. How'd you go? It's four. So we'll get those cataphracts. That's 36. Two over here to get them. Get those. Those up there. Ah, oh, not bad. About time we had a good victory for once. Okay, there's one of them. So we get the hurlers. Nine of them. Get those spearmen. One. Twenty-four after them. Five. Twelve. Go after twelve. Alright, we'll just finish getting the units that they're after at the moment. So they're finished, they're finished, they're finished, and they're finished. End battle. Fourteen hundred. They lost three thousand. <clears throat> okay, we got a heroic victory. They're destroyed pretty much, and we got most of those cataphracts. Which is good news. Both have got, got away as always. And Onyga Cruz did too. Look at the pestilence, it's just everywhere. Don't tell me both my armies have it. Oh no, it's Assassinate Army. Alright, 13% replenishment sounds good to me. Uh, we might merge some of these units next turn. Unless we can get into safety. No, they're the people I'm worried about. The Markaran. Okay, they're running around with their priests. Huns are just dicking around as always. A 
Also guys, don't forget to like and subscribe if you're enjoying the series. It always helps me out a lot. Um, no, nope, not interested. My oh, mania coming to help. You don't take my region, you bastards. They just killed him. Good, thank you. Gamantians, what are they up to? Who knows? Camel people, these guys. Ah, oh, these are... No, they're going to go for my city. These, these places were, I think, one turn away from upgrading to body level two re regions. Um, they got desert spears, so they're tier two infantry. But they've only got two units of cav and one unit of hurlers. So, I'm not saying this is doable, but I think we've got a better chance than that, that's for sure. It's worth a try. If we were level two and we had another lot of legio and a unit of archers, I would have said it's definitely winnable. I'm not so sure about this. You never know. They're only spearmen and, and Okay, so where's the general over here? Why do they always deploy him in the same spot? They always deploy him on the left in this map. And I just do the same thing every time. So two units there, one unit there, Testudo, barricade there, and cav out here. Same as always. Gonna put these guys. Speed. Speed it up. They're on Testudo. Good. We'll let them invest all their spearmen. They have no cab over this side, so that's very good for me. We will have to get those hurlers first, and then we'll get their general. Our general is under attack. He's not in combat yet. They running him around or no? Okay, so Cab can get in charge against these guys. I do get them into a really good charge formation. So if they hit them, oh, not just going to hit the side of them. Those Legia really need to hold for a long time. You guys throw your javelins. charge. We should be able to butcher them pretty quick. I don't think you ever get anything better than scout equites in the garrison. Come on, they have to shatter really quick. Everything depends on that. Same as every other battle. Come on, quick, quick, quick. That's got to be enough. I'll form up. Yep, that was definitely enough. I'll just form up for a good wide charge. It's got a little bit of time still. They're going to throw their javelins too, hopefully. How tired are they? Nice and fresh. Good. Okay. Yep. It's a short charge, but it should be good. Yeah, that's good. Make them a bit wider. It does help. 230 kills already. Should be able to break that general, hopefully. Just need to hold. Broken that unit of cav. Uh, are they trying to encircle? Oh shit, I forgot how many spearmen they have. We're gonna be in trouble. Come on, kill the general. They've all broken, which isn't really good because it just means they pull back and re 
and they're going to get my cav. Oh, good, they shattered. Nice. All right, let's pull back with my cav. I'm not going to bother hunting them down yet. They're going to break through this barricade, so we just need to... Oh, you know what? Just try and kill some of them. Might as well. You guys reform over here. Legio should hold. Um, I probably should send the cab to help them, though, shouldn't I? That would be the smart thing to do. Cab, run around. Get ready for a charge. Nice. So what do they get left? Two, four, six... Eight units of spears. You guys into Testudo. The tower will get some more kills there. Still got a fair amount of cav too, which is great. So we'll form them up for a charge. If we shatter all them, I think we've got this. I'm really good at defensive battles, but I suck at it certain offensive situations, especially the Huns. When, we, when I go to war with the Huns, it's going to be embarrassing, probably. Alright, let's do another charge. They're throwing their javelins. Wasn't the best charge that time. They're only up to 500 kills, though. Alright, these guys are dead. Nice. We need to try and get around behind these guys, don't we? What do we... What am I doing? I might put the Legio here. I actually don't know what to do with these. I'll just throw them into battle, I reckon. Cavs can just try and kill some of these. They should break. The tower's going to get them. We just need to hold our lines. Oh, don't throw your javelins, guys. Just get into melee. Let the Cav get as many kills as they can. Should be able to get a thousand kills, hopefully. As long as the tower doesn't kill... Oh, there goes the tower. Alright, you guys push in. Yeah, to test it out. Just encircle them a little bit. I don't know if I should be setting my cab around behind them or not. Yeah. I'll, just, I'll regret it if I don't. So let's go around. Not the Legio. Legio stain. Battle. Cav, run round. Just in case they don't break and shatter, etc. I'd be really upset at myself if I didn't try and guarantee victory. And we can still qu kill all these spearmen as well. Oh shit, no, 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 come on. We'll speed it up. Around here, guys. Quick, 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 quick. Okay, once we do a charge, then we can zoom in and slow down. Okay. So around to here. They're active still, which is good. Alright, we've got this. It's going to be an epic victory. I'm calling it right now. Not an epic victory, but a good defensive battle. Oh no, they turned around. Oh no. That's not good. Shaken. Come on, we've got to break them. Otherwise we're going to drop it. Push forward, guys. Right, that one's broken. They were going to go. Keep pushing forward. They're gone. Yes. Victory. Nice. I'm going to... Oh, I was supposed to zoom in a bit more. Oh, I still can. Done. Four units. We only took about half casualties as well. Nice. So we're just going to butcher these guys. Just so they have to go back to their city and replenish after this. And they won't cause any more problems. Now we've got a thousand kills with our cav. Possibly get a lot, nearly 1200, I think. Okay, we'll just kill them. There's, oh, there's not a lot left, is there? Oh, there's 50. 1000 kills. Nice job, guys. Should probably chase these guys down out here first. 
and come back and worry about them later. So 17, 6, alright they're dead, 14, uh, 10, they're dead, 4, 1, 5, done. The only reason we won that was because they were spearmen. If they had a hurlers or anything else, there was no chance. Um, we'll just replenish just in case we get attacked again. Armania might be next turn if I don't get them. Actually, I don't have any other armies really. We might have to attack Nabiscus. Oh no, don't tell me these guys have an army as well. Nope. Aria, no. Macaron. Cool. <laughs> we know that wealth can be a burden. Will you not allow us to Look, you can have trade alone? for now. Um, I'm not paying for it though. No, I'm not we paying know for that it. Wealth... <laughs> Piss we... off. You had your chance, you failed. We fight. Go away. Oh no, now who's it spread to? The other army. Kill in battle, kill in battle, yep, yep. Okay, disease, okay. So now both these armies have disease. Alright, we're gonna get them back into friendly territory. Oh shit. Uh, Greco. Spread your religion to Sco Scoopy. It wouldn't give us that mission unless we could succeed in it. Um, why is it going down? I don't understand. We have these buildings. It should be going up. Well, we're not going to achieve that unless it happens on its own because I can't afford to build those buildings. We don't have enough food. Oh well. Uh, I'm just going to check over here, just to see, not, okay, so this army's coming, it needs to replenish, these armies need time for the pestilence to um, heal themselves, I'm going to take Nabiscus back, it should be pretty damaged, at war, doesn't tell me anything about this settlement, just got to shoot garrison, what's that, um, yeah, we'll take Nabiscus back, just, and then we'll just throw these armies in, they should be able to replenish. So we've got three armies still, sort of. They just need time. We could merge them and make two, but I don't want to waste them. Okay. So this guy could actually take Nibiscus. I think. Or should he just ta attack them? He can attack them. Should be able to get him again. Um, we won't take many losses doing this, and we'll get some good replenishment, hopefully. Yeah. So it's going to be easy just to auto-resolve. Um, we'll do... Um, we'll just do balance, I think. Good. So they got 6% replenishment, and they lost 105, so... They should be better off than when they went to war, basically. On the move. Wow, it's powering. Your orders. All right, so they can go back into friendly territory, March. even though it's just there. These guys we're going to bring up and attack Nabiscus. Um, so we might as oh no, what assassinates? Oh, they're pretty weak. We could get rid of another one of their kings or generals at least. What's here? Oh, it's a spy. Oh, that's fair enough. Ready for orders. Can no, you've been hindered, have you? So twice. You can't move at all. Great. All right, so you can take Nabiscus. Let's 
It's going to auto resolve and. Oh, it doesn't matter what we do, we'll just do balanced. Oh, I've got the Armenians protecting us, so we'll just do protective. So the Armenians helped us out there, which is always good. Okay. Um, we're going to occupy. Is that all? Good. Okay. Now we still don't get replenishment. And have you got enough? He can't move now. Right, so how far can you get? I'm going to send this guy over just so he's in reinforcement range, just in case he gets attacked. He's not my emperor, but I still don't want to lose him. Okay. And this guy is still going to replenish no matter what, so that's good news. Okay, so this is a massive mess, but it's under control at the moment. Both these need to be repaired. And that needs to be rebuilt a bit. They destroyed a few of the buildings. Uh, food's low, so public order of rat shit as well. Why is this now minus 11? Desolation. Oh, we did abandon that. Cool. So they can't get that back now. Great. Uh, except that's screwed up my public order for a few turns. It'll be okay. The region isn't that pretty happy. Most of them are at 100%. What was uncertainty from? Uh, I didn't think that was from... Uh, it, must, it must be from abandoning the city. I thought that was from political actions when that comes up, but that's all right. So it's minus five for one turn, and then uncertainty will go down each turn by minus one. So most of my main regions will be fine. I mean, that one's still plus four. Um, oh, that's a bit low. It's also got a gap. It's, wow, that's really low. Immigration's still there. Uh, it's got instability and uncertainty. You know what? Let's just throw another general in. Oh, one of that shit guy with low loyalty. Let's get him. Oh, we've got 10 out of 10. We'll have to piss off a general. This guy's got um, extra authority, so he'll be useful. So we'll just piss off one general we don't need. Uh, all right. Let's go through my armies and just work out where they are and what they're doing. So you've just taken that. You've got pestilence, so it's not going to replenish anytime soon. You're recruiting bowmen for all these guys. Ready for orders. You just recruited a couple of onigas. Um, can we build a complete army out of all this mess? Yes. Okay, so we have him. Where do we want to go with those armies? Go after the Groot Hungarians. They've only got two regions left, and they're pretty strong. I wouldn't mind getting rid of them. But Statians are there too. We might be able to get them along the way. All right. So that's the plan. You need to go north. March. So you have a full army. At once. And then this guy's going to go too. But... We're just going to give him some more units. I'd like to give him some crossbows. But that's not going to happen. Okay, this is the general we can fuck off. Actually, no. What's this general? I've got too many stupid generals. Alright, this guy's stupid. I didn't want to use him because he was stupid. But he upgraded. So that fixed his cunning. So now he doesn't have any bad traits. So we'll go through and give him some one of them later. You know what? I'll do that after the end turn. After the auto save and that, I'll do it in my own time. I'll just have to go through them. I don't want to waste time reading them all in front of you guys, sort of thing. All right, so he's a good general now. This guy we're going to get rid of for now. And I want to put some crossbowmen in this cab. Oh, we don't need crossbowmen, do we? Because we've got all that cab. Okay. So you just go to there. Give this guy some more new money. How much did that army end up costing? Only five grand, not too bad. Okay, so... Give him them. Uh, I would like some more onigas, but we don't really necessarily need them. And we're going to force march, because we should be pretty safe. We're in our own region. Up there, and it's spring, so we've also got time before winter hits again. We should be able to get around and attack. 
Okay, so that's those two armies. They're going to stick right, really close to each other now and support each other. But that should be really cool. Something a bit different. This guy needs to get into friendly territory and just replenish. We'll piss off this Onigo. Just get two more. One, two. So he needs um, three more units of cav. That's 16 units. Two units of them is 18. And it, then the two Onigas, or do they? I don't know. Uh, he needs two units of those. So put over there. One, two. Um, we'll leave those guys in the army. They have experience, so they'll have time to replenish. You can come over here now. Alright, so all he needs is Cav and the Onigas. Alright. I'm going to throw another general. The guy with the loyalty. You. Right, his army. Just in there. That helped a little bit. We'll just throw some units in as well. This military presence will help us a lot. All right. It will fix itself over time. It's going to go down five automatically after desolation disappears. So it's only going to be minus two. Instability will go down and uncertainty as well next turn. So it'll be actually at zero next turn. So it's not too much to worry about. I would like it to get it back up to 100% just for growth. So you get the additional 6 growth and extra tax bonus. Okay. So I think that was all our movement for our armies, pretty much. You're just doing whatever. You're recruiting that for a second. I will piss him off in a few turns. It'll just help it get that to 100% quicker. You guys are all replenishing. They have to stay here just for now, but then they can disappear as well. You guys are on the offensive. Your integrity is not great. You have a battle soon enough though. And you're recruiting archers. Okay, problems wise, we're going to go through that quickly. And then that's probably going to be the end of this episode. Sorry guys. Okay, so this is pretty good. There's nothing more we can do here. We've got 48 food, but it's not enough to help anything. Next turn we're going to have fishing jetties and trade wars finally, and a food market. So that's going to be good. Brithianica is building Macedonia. They have no food left. Their public order is pretty shit as well. So we better not do anything there. We could destroy this. I don't. Do we need marble for that? I don't think we need that much marble. Gives us extra wealth, but uh, here's building. Ah, oh, we've got a building slot. Good. What do we need? Um, this is giving us extra food and sanitation. Uh, we we're going to build a farm in here, weren't we? That's probably a good idea. We get extra food, that means we can upgrade that. Then we get some more public order, so we can upgrade the trade jetties to trade wharfs for more money. Also upgrades roads a bit. Or we can put a fountain in here. Actually we might have to go with the fountain. Yeah, because that's gonna be fully upgraded and that's gonna give us squalor. That's gonna give us more squalor. Probably call this ratchet though. Why? Desolation, yeah, we know about that. Uncertainty, so eight. Uh okay. But we're building that for four. So I think we're better off to build the fountain so we can build the trade boss for more money. And we've got enough food. Oh, no, we don't have enough food. But we will when that's built. Okay, so this is just a big mess. We're going to go with the fountain. Over to Asia. Uh, once again, public order's low, but that'll all fix it and everything else will disappear. Up here, building that, that's going to use 10 food. And that, okay, so we're... We have that, Dardania, those two building will use that food up, and over here we're repairing and rebuilding. Alright, let's do an end turn and we'll fi finish up after that. We've got some upgrades as well. So my general, uh, we're going to go for this and this I think. 
Spy. Don't care. Just give him that. I probably should read all that. Uh, this... You, uh, replenishment? We definitely need that. And... Oh, this is the... Emperor's army. Uh, what do they need? Construction? No, no. Just integrity, I guess. Good. Alright. Cool. So next time we're going to have to start building fishing jetties and trade wharfs, etc. Um, I think there's only one place that's got a tabernacle that we can turn into a food emporium at the moment, and that is in uh, Rithyanica, I think. Speak of peace to their enemies. No, I want only you dead. I should pay the Huns to kill them. They're right next to them. I should write that down and put it on a sticky note, so next time I play the game I do it. Who are they? Elements? Well, they're getting pretty strong. Got four armies running around. Okay. They've got four armies in one region, it looks like. Must be a very good upgraded region to support four armies. Uh, it's just a priest. They can't attack there anyway because I think the Armenians are within reinforcement range. Because they did help me take it. Okay, they're running away. Good. Huns are up to something. They're moving around a fair bit. Looks like they might be coming to help me after the Gruthangarians. It's funny how they do that. The second I start going and doing something, they'll help out a little bit. We should try and ambush them at some stage and just take out a few of their hordes when we go to war with them. We'll just plan it really well. Okay, I Armenia. That you consider opening hey, your markets to our traders. You're so my puppet state, bitch. Profit what are you doing? Shouldn't we be trading anyway? Okay, I thought they cancelled the puppet state thing somehow. And declared independence. Um, we should have been trading anyway, but... Yeah, that's fine. Um... No one's trading with me. They're the only people who are trading it. Okay, don't know how that happened, but that's fine. Armenia are up to Your something. Everyone's done it. skilled and honorable traders. They would be made welcome in our markets. Let me guess, this is a bug, because it all got wiped. No one was trading with me. Except... Aria didn't ask if they wanted to trade. I've already been through them. Okay. We see little profit in further. No. These guys are having to think. What the hell? A, a, oh god, Bashar. Bashara? Fucking, they're the flower people. <laughs> Should we just change these names? We do not ask much. No. I dislike begging. Look at the power balance. But We're going to crush you money. guys, and you can't. Surely should you be offering me money. Good friends. No. I'm going to have so much fun when we go through and rebuild and look that. Which maybe we should start doing that a bit slowly. Okay, so that's the end turn. All right. Uh, we compromise security. Blah blah blah. Yes. Attrition. Yes. Does it? God, it's spread to someone else. Oh, it's in the biscuits now. Fair enough. Uh, okay. She's a shit wife. Oh, who's this guy? Now nah, we'll stop it. Okay, so now the biscuits has pestilence. Which. Okay, that's fine. Anyway, guys, this is where we're going to end part 19. Thank you for watching. Um, we'll continue with how we're going next turn in part 20. We should be up. Oh, we might be able to reach the Groot Hungarians next turn. Looks like the Huns are going to come and help. 
They're ranked fifth somehow with only two regions, so they should have a fair few armies to fight. Uh, the only problem is we might... I might spring up a navy quickly if when we go after their capital, only because we've only got three onigas and we don't have enough uh, infantry. I don't want to use a cav in the city. It'll just be a slaughterhouse, depending on what units they have. Um, but yeah, we we'll, should be able to make another army out of all that mess that's going on in around Constantinople, and then they might either come and help over in the east, because this is a mess over here, or we might start pushing down against the rebels, etc. But I mean, things are looking good. I think don't think things have ever actually looked bad in this campaign. Um, we'll get to killing the Sassanids. We're doing it slowly. We're just doing other things as well in the north. But yeah, so like, comment, subscribe. Um, it all does help me out, guys, and I will see you in part 20.